I thought I knew everything. Um, and now I tell people when they ask about starting a business, I say, hey, I can't tell you what to do right, uh, but I can tell you a hundred things to do wrong. Opening the first email saying that I was accepted and they sent me through the 40 modules, um, actually sitting down and, and it's almost hurting your feelings, uh, I mean, in a lack of better terms, of saying you thought you did this right, but here's the real reason why you're doing it. You need to have these steps in place. Uh, and once I started getting those steps in place, everything else kind of fell in line. I started late in life, uh, didn't know I really wanted to join until I was 26. Uh, so I joined in 2002. Uh, I met my re uh, retirement date of November 2022, um, and I served in the Coast Guard. The only reason, or one of the main reasons why I went to the business and the avenue that I did was back in 2017, uh, me and a bunch of buddies got together and we did a local barbecue contest. We won nothing at all that day except a second place um, anything but, uh, and it was just a people's choice award. Um, so it wasn't like I was an, an amazing cook, just everybody enjoyed it. Uh, because of that, I started cooking for the Coast Guard uh, and for other military, the Army, um, the Navy and uh, started just catering little things, retirements and stuff. And, and after people started telling me, hey, I really like your food, I didn't want to be a restauranteur, but I said, well, I, I can show you how to season it. Um, and then I started the seasoning and rub business. My biggest obstacle was actually not having um, somebody like Warrior Rising when I started. I didn't realize this was even an organization uh, until a buddy of mine had went through it and posted some, some things with it. Um, the military does a really good job with uh, helping pinpoint things for you to do outside uh, of your military service. The only issue is a lot of the things it points to are things that you did while you were in the service. Owning my own business is not one of those opportunities. So I was really glad to see that there are organizations out there to help veterans uh, you know, follow a different path. They made me refocus. The opportunity to plan for your organization just in case you, you meet something in the way, how are you going to get over that? In two years, I would like to see my company as a full-time employment for me and my wife. I don't think it's, it's out of the realm of possibility that it is a full-time for both of us, that we can run it, uh, we can have other clients and other other countries. Um, the barbecue industry and the retail industry for rubs and sauces is growing exponentially uh, within the next eight years, uh, and I just want to be on that ride when it when it takes off.